Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa. Moody say. My name is M. Jumoto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Adeda Mola by Fireboy DML. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Interestingly, the title of this album is Fireboy DML's actual name, his government name, and it is follow-up to 2022's Playboy, which had hits such as Bandana, the title track itself, and The Monster, Peru, the OG version, and the remix with Ed Sheeran that just went crazy. Adidamola is Fireboy DML's fourth album in a span of five years, which is great work ethic. The album opens up with Isheo Lua, which is Fireboy narrating his journey while he gives thanks to God for the blessings that have come his way as a result of, you know, the hard work, the talent and all that. It sounds like a diary entry and a piece of introspection somewhat. And that is part of what makes it a perfect introduction to the album. Considering the album title as well, this is a great tie-in to show how personal this project is to Fireboy DML and maybe a reflection of himself in musical form. Call Me is such a dope song. It sounds like an 80s type record, that Afropop disco vibe of those times with sounds we use a lot in modern day Afrobeats and other African music right now. The type to find resonance with a younger crowd. The way he meshed those two worlds together is masterful and won't necessarily be easy to pick up on. But if you listened to hit makers like Brenda Farsi, for example, you'll know what I mean. Fabwe DML outdid himself on this song, and I hope the listeners appreciate what he actually did, and the numbers will get to show that. Track 3 is Ecstasy with Sean Kuti, and the title is perfect. Absolutely perfect. This song captures so much of that sensuality it's bananas the way it feels the way it sounds the way it's executed it's definitely for the lovers in the house and would be a fantastic song to really get the mood going with the object of your affection the love of your life whatever you call them this song kind of sealed the deal for me that fireboy dml was onto something special and if you you know follow instructions there might be a present for you, a gift for you in nine months, but I won't elaborate. Anyway, by the time I got to track nine, which is Change Your Life, I was already, you know, dancing and ready for more. And there are plenty of songs here that will ask you to move your body. Uh, one Day's Bop is one such track. And that one, mm, sweetness, sweetness, yeah. This really is an album where it feels like the party never stops. And that is one of the reasons I'm drawn towards it. Even when it slows down a bit on songs such as Ready with uh, Grammy winner John Batiste, you feel the sense of positivity and just wanting to continue, you know, um, with the good vibes and the good music. Speaking of Ready with John Batiste, I was wondering if he actually, you know, laced any vocals on it or did more of the composing. And it looks like the latter, especially when you go to the end of Adidamola and there's John's it interlude, which is track 14. And it's pretty much a piano solo with John Batiste as well. So that kind of answered my question. What I like about this Adidamola album is that Fireboy DML gives us... Uh, probably his most versatile version of himself while maintaining his hit making status he also redefines what sound we thought we knew him for especially after he had the whole world singing um on peru because when you have a song that's that big and especially collaborating with you know ed sheeran and all that People expect you to just make the, that same record or something similar, at least, you know, for the next few years and just 
they're just hearing maybe uh, <laughs> 10 different versions of the same thing, so to speak. But Fireboy DML's bravery to challenge his listeners is impressive because he maintains that his talent is out of this world and he executes it perfectly. I absolutely loved that uh, Fireboy DML included some of his biggest recent hits such as Yawa which is a banger for uh, the ages sitting at 46 million streams on Spotify currently you know occupying that Afro piano space and check out the Afro piano intersection playlist on Spotify it is there it is there that is impressive 46 million streams on Spotify man you know and it gave the album some familiarity together with uh, the other previously released songs such as Obasima and Everyday. Adidamole is an album of multifaceted growth. Fireboy DML stays current with his listeners but also gives them something more sonically and the soundscapes they are gorgeous. Many artists obviously tend to not want to mess with the working formula uh, which is what I mentioned before, yet Fireboy DML seems to continue finding a new level all the time. You listen to all his albums and there's clear progress, phenomenal growth, and that's saying quite something when you consider how good his debut Laughter Tears and Goose, Goosebumps was, even more so when you think about how he has never had a bad album anyway. Hell, he hasn't even had just an okay album. They've all been quality top tier projects. I actually did a video on his uh, last three projects analyzing if Fireboy DML could be the best uh, album artist out of Nigeria and he's right up there with the very best. Adedamola puts him there hands down. I would say Adedamola has serious replay value which is enhanced by powerful collaborations. The guy got the le legendary Lagbaja on the Sheun Kuti, Lo J on Letting Go, Spino on One Day's Bop, uh, and John Batiste, as I mentioned earlier, all gave an excellent account of themselves and their great musicians. The mixing and mastering was absolute bliss here, chef's kiss, and you marvel at something different the more you repeat the album. The 41 minute runtime felt like nothing even after listening to Adidamola more than three times, and I don't know how many times I've listened to it now, uh, but that's the hallmark of one heck of a good project. He knocked it out of the park. If it was cricket, this is a six, bro. In my opinion, this is probably the album to beat uh, from a lot of the albums that I've listened to this year. I think this is this is the one just in terms of balance and everything else. It, it it has everything, in my opinion. It just has everything. I rate Adidamola by Fireboy DML a 9.2 out of 10. The man outdid himself with 14 tracks of excellence. And he might have my favorite Nigerian album of 2024, actually. I hope this one is submitted for a Grammy, you know, because it's got something special. And before I dip, do check out my website, mjwemoto.com, m-j-w-e-m-o-t-o.com. Go check out the goodies and support you, boy. Otherwise, that's it from me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe, signing out. Peace. Nende. This podcast is hosted by MJ.